So, in the last video, we started to get to know jQuery, and now we're going to have a little fun with the uh, graphic um, and what are called uh, animations, right? Um, it is very easy to use jQuery to create some very nice looking effects um, on our web page. So here I've got a gray box and two, uh, a red box and a blue box, and I want them to move around. I want them to move around. I'm going to click this button and I want them to kind of move around a little magically or something, right? Okay, well, let's first uh, take a look at what we have here. Okay, there's my gray box. Here's my red box. Here's my blue box. Okay, you can see that. All right. And look, let's look at our CSS. Okay, our gray box, position relative. Our margin, we have an, okay, so we have a width of 500. And it's the gray one. And we're doing an auto mar, the, we're using auto to naturally position it in the center of the web page, right? Now the red, the red box position is absolute. Um, and it's 10 pixels set off from the left and 10 pixels down. And you can see background color uh, red. So here, absolute positioning, right? That means I can use these um, pixel coordinates, these pixel values to decide and place my this red box, this div tag exactly anywhere on the page. You can say it you can see it's 10 pixels off from the left, 10 pixels from the right. And uh, the blue box is almost the same. Um, but here it's from the right. We, we put it 10 pixels from the right, and this one's the left. Okay, so jQuery allows us to very quickly and easily go in and change these different properties. We can change um, the left property. We can change it from going from 10 to, say, 100 or 120 or whatever, okay? And we can do something that is called we can animate those changes. We can make it so that it happens over a certain period of time. It hope it happens uh, not just in a flash, but over some span of time. All right, so here is our button click event. All right, now we want to let's grab that red box. Okay. And we are going to animate a property. And this is the way the syntax, this is the grammar for animating a property. Left, and we're going to set it to 200. All right. And then we're going to do that over a period of 700 milliseconds. OK, so with these, um, 1,000 would be um, one second, okay? Because these are milliseconds, all right? So this is less than a second, okay? It's like it's less seventy percent of a second, right? And so now let's do. So here you can see left in our CSS property. It's starting at 10 pixels, and then it's going to go out to 200 pixels. It's going to change, and that change is going to occur over the course or the period of time of 700 milliseconds, almost a second. Okay, so now here we have our blue box. And we want to change the right property. 
Okay. And so, oh, whoops, I made a mistake there. All right. Um, well, let's try it. So remember to refresh, right? Let's refresh and bingo, all right? So we click our button and it animates those. Now, if we wanted, we could do this. Let's put in 1,700 milliseconds. Okay, let's refresh the page. So that was much slower, right? Um, well, let's, let's do it even slower so we can really see. All right, kind of fancy, right? Kind of fancy. And all with just two lines of code, okay? All with just two lines of code. So now, um, let's see here. Okay, okay.